Welcome back to CIGTI channel. So today I'm gonna make a video about reviewing uh, MediaBound Pen Pro on PC version. Okay, uh, you can see that after years I'm making a lot of videos about MediaBound tutorials in here. And why I didn't make a review about the MediaBound Shooter? Because I think I must have enough time for using this uh, program uh, to have enough experiment and I can make a good review about this um, so with Medibank you can download it from their website medibankpen.com here they have both version for Windows and Macbook they also have app on iPad and iPhone and Android Okay, uh, so this video is not talking about the app. I'm just talking about uh, the PC version because I'm using um, this Medibank Pen Pro on PC version more than I'm using on uh, iPad on, on the mobile device. Before i uh, using Medibank Pen Pro, I already use Pentosite. Uh, I also use Photoshop. So this review will be talking compare between Photoshop, Medibank, and Pentosize. So once I'm changing from Pentosize and Photoshop and go to the Medibank, uh, at first I'm using Pentosize because of my work, so I use Pentosize a lot. Uh, but after that, my computer is broken and Pentosize not support for Mac. So that's why uh, I must change it to Photoshop. But Photoshop is kind of um, heavy and uh, hard to use at first. It's kind of for the pro. So one of my friend recommend the uh, Medibank here, and I just started and testing this, and I just uh, love it. Uh, you can see that the Medibank here, you can download this for free. They also can provide you some kind of screen tone and background in here in the material box for free. If you do it in traditional way, you must have to spend money on this. But now you can accept all of them for free here. And because of their purpose that they are making this program for drawing manga and comic, so that's why they are making a lot of cool features that help you a lot when you're drawing manga and comic. Just like first, you can also have the adding panels in here. That will be a quick access that help you quick drawing man, uh, your panels in your comic. And they also provide you some cool features that is the snap tone here, which that in Pentosite and Photoshop they don't have that. The snap tone here just like the ruler that help you a lot when you are drawing background. Yeah. Uh, you can draw a quick background with those ruler even that you're drawing in perspective. You can see that I have, I can drawing it this background very quick. Yep, just a simple sketch like this, and and I done it in just a minute. So compared with the paint side, the platform of the Medibank Pen Pro is not really uh, simple. But they are also not really hard to use compared to the Photoshop. Uh, if you are get used to the digital platform of the some kind of drawing program like this, Medibank Pen Pro, you won't have to spend much time to get used to this. But if you are a beginner in the digital platform like this, maybe you have to spend much time to get used to those button and uh, the window and platform. Another thing about the Medibank that I don't like it is must be about the tie tune, the text tune here. You must say that the digital platform they are created it and they must be convenient for user. So the text tunes here with me they are kind of inconvenient because you have to edit the text in the box like this. Just like I'm drawing something here. Yep, and you are done. You can see it's kind of slow to access. And if you want to change something in the Photoshop, you just click you click to the title and click to here there, 
and you can change it. You can see in the Photoshop, you just have to draw something like this. Okay, here. After I done and I want to edit a little bit, I just use the text tool and click to there and I can add more things in here. Yeah, like this. Or enter. Yep, changing something. That's really easy to use and convenient, but not with the Medibank Pen Pro here. After you choose the text tool, you must double click in here and the box will appear again and you have to edit all the things in here in the box and wait for the result in here. It will be a lot of time if you work in a few projects it's like 100 pages, yeah, um, and they are really inconvenient to me. So let's talk about the drawing illustration on this Medibank Pen Pro. I must say that I'm not highly recommend this program for drawing illustration. Why? If you compare to the pencil side, you can make a lot of hotkey for each burst. And the pencil side is the good program for the beginner when you drawing illustration. They are uh, easy to use blending mode with the blur tool and watercolor. Yeah. Uh, compared with this program, they also have blur tool and watercolor for blending, but it's really hard to use. I must spend like one month to get used to those blending modes. Um, and if we compare this program for to the Photoshop for drawing illustration, uh, they are still locking some uh, features about the effect and adding some like the. Uh, uh, filter, yeah, they don't have enough the filter just like the Photoshop. So if you use this program for drawing illustration, I must say that you better use Benusai if you are a beginner or you are a pro, you better go to the Photoshop. And this one, it's just like a program that maybe you have fun to use that and have the experiment with that. But if you use this program for drawing manga and comic, yes, that's why they are making that. And I must say that Medibank create this program for free because they want to create an environment. You see that they also have a website in here. After you have the account and you're done with your comic, you can submit it to the Medibank by clicking this button here. And you can also earn money after you join their Medibank Partner Program. They are just like the Tabasic or Webtoon, but the different, they are create a program for you to use and you can submit it to their website. That is just a win-win solution, right? Finally, it's my opinion. If you finding a program that for drawing manga and comic, you can see it here. This one is a good program for you to Drawing manga and comic with a lot of features in here and it is really easy to use, not really hard, really heavy. Um, in my solution that if you don't like the text tool just like me, you can uh, down your comic in here and save it and go back to the Photoshop for adding text. And if you use them for drawing some illustration with a lot of details and must use blending mode and you don't have enough skill, I better recommend uh, you use Pentasign for the beginner and you must stick to the Photoshop for a pro. So that is all about my review video. If you have any questions, just put the comment below. I read all of your comments and will be back uh, when I have time. Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.